as a dietist, I present a strong, positive, atheistic position when it comes to specific gods. Now, I'm not going to go into much detail here, other than to point out that when it comes to specific gods, people like to do things like attribute to their god attributes that are logically impossible, for example, or when it comes to specific gods and you look at the history of that god, you'll find that it has been subject to manipulation, change, modification by successive generations of believers to the point where it is absolutely clear that we're looking at figments of people's imagination and nothing that could just possibly be real. If you want to know more about that, maybe look at some older videos that I posted on the topic of diatheism. Uh, for example, diatheists say meh to your god is a good example of that. Anyway, what I want to discuss here is how some theists, when presented with this rejection of their belief system, with this rejection of their god and its logically impossible attributes or its crazy checkered history, when they find themselves backed into a corner, they try to rescue their God belief, their belief system, by retreating from the specific God that they originally claimed you ought to believe in, into a vague, nondescript, impossible to grasp God concept, but that they would still like to sell to you, that they still like to proselytize to you about. And the only valid response to such tactics is complete and utter indifference. And I'll tell you why. You see, when it comes to such vague God concepts, the theist set out, the proselytizing theist, who tries to convince you that you should adopt their faith, their belief system, is trying to sell you something about their specific God. They are trying to sell you, for example, salvation, whatever the hell that might be, or a personal relationship with their God, or they are trying to convince you that you sub should submit yourself to the will of their God, and so on and so forth. All this is a personal relationship between you and their God. But now they're starting to talk about some vague God notion, which becomes less and less coherent as the discussion, the dialogue goes on. And at that point, I'm going to look at how this God idea of their, theirs fits within reality as a whole. Now, reality is what transcends everything. So, for me, when it comes to any vague, nondescript God notions, well, there are literally just two possibilities. Either if this God is supposedly real, either your God is subordinate in some way to reality, in which case reality does in no uncertain terms, transcend your God in the same way that reality transcends, for example, me, in which case I'm not interested. Why should I be interested in this pedestrian, provincial, sad little God thingy that occupies a lonely little corner of reality, when there is a whole reality out there that transcends everything and that would be bigger and better, or whatever you want to call it, than anything else, including your God. Given that dilemma, some theists retreat so far that they try to sell you a God idea in which God is pretty much synonymous to reality, in which God is reality, and God itself transcends us all. But in that case, as far as I'm concerned, it's game over. Because if tra God transcends us, then we cannot, for example, as the Christian who likes to sell you their hellfire and damnation, damnation version of Christianity, wants to try and threaten you saying you are 
by rejecting Jesus as your savior, savior, you are putting yourself in a position where you are separated from God. Well, if God is reality, I cannot, under any circumstances, separate myself from God. Tra reality transcends us. You cannot extricate yourself from reality. You, for as long as you exist, will always be inextricably part of reality and in that case, in the case of this God as synonymous with reality type of God, you will always, always, always be in some sort of a communication with whatever this God thing may be. There is no need in that case to believe in such a God, to worship it, to submit yourself to it, you are already in a relationship with it. And that's why, in that case, my position towards such a vague and undefined God idea is total and utter indifference.